Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video we'll be doing the unboxing and have a first look at this Eureka U by Micromax. Yes, I know this is just a rebranded device that's a cool pad F2 but this product was hyped up like anything and in fact I would say if you just look at the specs point of view it offers some very impressive specs. It has a Snapdragon 61 chipset which is an octa-core processor, has 2 gigs of RAM and sports a 5.5 inch IPS great screen and a 13 megapixel camera and it's selling in India just for about 9000 and uh, uh, Eureka is selling this device exclusively online via Amazon.in and they are selling it via flash sales and it's selling for around 9000 bucks but I simply could not get this device I tried it in two flash sales and I couldn't buy it and this is not my device in fact uh, I tweeted about this that I couldn't purchase this device so a user from Twitter that is Jaydev saw that and he offered me uh, he loaned me this unit. It's a sealed unit that he gave it to me so that I could do a review for all of you guys. So big shout out to Jaydev because without his support, I wouldn't be able to provide this, uh, what do you say, review to you guys. So let's do the unboxing of this Eureka U and let's see what we get in this box and my initial first hands-on impressions. So here we have the U Eureka and as you can see uh, on the front we have nothing but the U logo. And here on the back it gives us some of the specs let me just break the seal again as you can see it's a sealed unit that j they've loaned to me and uh, so let's take this out and the unique thing about this device i would say uh, important thing is it runs on cyanogen mod and here it gives us some of the specs it says it's powered by a snapdragon 615 chipset which is a 1.5 gigahertz octa-core processor uh, it has the Adreno 405 GPU, the Snapdragon 615 is 64-bit uh, capable and it has Gorilla Glass 3, uh, it has 16 uh, gigs of internal storage, 2 GB RAM, uh, 5 megapixel front facing camera, 13 megapixel rear facing camera and uh, it is based on Cyanogen mod, Android version 4.4, it has Bluetooth version 4 support and a 2500 milliamp battery and um, the price quoted on the box is 12,500 but they are currently selling it on amazon.in where their flash sales for just 9,000 bucks and this device is 4G LTE compatible in India and the good thing is SAR values are pretty low it says 0 0.27 and uh, on the head and for the body it's 0 0.56 so it's pretty low so let's quickly open this up now and we have the device itself let me take that out so this is the device we'll come back to this a bit later and uh, let's first look at the accessories we also have a warranty card uh, SAR information again we have over here user manual and uh, it's in black and white color we also do get a screen card with this one so it's nice though it has gorilla glass we get a screen card also and looks like we have some further accessories in this box also yes we have a wall charger which is pretty small i would say on this end we have the uh, charging cable we also have the battery and we do also get the headset with this one let me open the headset and show it to you guys and it's a in here again uh, we have the branding and we have a button here and a microphone so you can use this button to take or end calls and we also have the battery uh, which is a 2500 milliamp hour battery but it looks pretty massive so let me just keep these things to the side and let's look at the device so this is the device itself and without the battery it feels pretty light and uh, again here it gives us some information regarding the cpu and it says the camera 5 megapixel front facing and a 13 megapixel rear facing and we have this uh, u branding on the back also and uh, it looks like sandstone finish like we have seen on the one plus one but it is not as rough in fact it is actually pretty smooth and soft uh, so let's pop in a battery and it says it's a 2500 milliamp hour battery and uh, the battery capacity looks a little bit low to my liking as it sports a 5.5 inch screen uh, with the octa core processor and we also have silica gel and we can insert our sim card uh, the sim one goes here the sim uh, two goes over here and we can add a micro sd card also so let's quickly just uh, put in our sim here goes the sim and we can also add our sd card to this device i'll add this 8 gig sd card 
and let's pop in the battery and let's try to do the first initial boot with this device and uh, I hope it has some charge yes give me haptic feedback again we have the U branding it says powered by Android and this is just a rebranded Coolpad F2 device uh, which is the U branding and uh, it says uh, the unique thing is it's powered by Cyanogen uh, mod Cyanogen OS so that's the unique thing about this device by the time it actually boots uh, let me give you a physical overview on the top we have the 3.5 mm headphone jack on here we have the power on off button nothing else over here on the bottom the main microphone the micro usb slot that we use for charging this device and on this end we have the volume rocker moving towards the back we also have a secondary microphone the 13 megapixel uh, rear facing camera led flash uh, u branding and this is opening for the speaker and uh, the front facing camera is a 5 megapixel shooter and the screen is a 5.5 inch screen uh, which is a 720p hd screen so let's quickly just set this up and uh, i'll add this google account etc a bit later you can also create a u account if you would like but i'll just skip that for the time being and uh, we can use uh, the on screen buttons also uh, the unique thing is like that we saw on the one plus one instead of these physical buttons over here you can use the virtual buttons also so that functionality is also there on this device um, we'll enable that a bit later and we are done and it detected my first sim and as you can see we are actually booted so it booted uh, pretty quickly uh, let's quickly just connect it to my Wi-Fi network and uh, let me just connect to my Wi-Fi network and it supports the 2.4 gigahertz band it does not support the 5 gigahertz band so it is uh, connected let's continue and uh, let's look at the android version and as you can see it's part by the android version 4.4.4 that is kitkat but this device is going to get the android lollipop update cyanogen has mentioned about that and as you can see it's running on the cyanogen uh, os version level and again the model uh, number for this device is the Eureka and let's look at the internal storage internal storage uh, we get a 16 gigabytes but out of that let's see how much do we get uh, and oops I went to the battery let's go to the storage and as you can see out of that 16 gigabytes we get 12.62 gigabytes free for us so that's a good thing and we can also add a SD card I added a 8 GB SD card to this device and it says we can mount USB uh, storage so looks like it will also support USB OTG functionality so that is nice and uh, let me just go back and let's look at the display options if you go to the brightness we do also have the auto brightness sensor on this device so that functionality is also there and again as it's running cyanogen mod we have the theme support and the status bar using which we can change uh, stuff for example let's show the battery as percentage and that is now shown so again as it has cyanogen mod uh, you have a lot of additional functionality on this device and we have this buttons as i mentioned we can enable uh, right now it's using the capacitive buttons but i can also enable the virtual buttons now these capacitive buttons don't work and now we have the virtual button so that also works uh, pretty well as you can see and let's see these are the apps that are pre-installed we have some third-party apps like button and audio fx um, so not a lot of bloatware we also do have the fm radio so that is there if you guys like it and we also have theme support for cyanogen mod on this let's quickly just fire up the chrome web browser and uh, got to accept this and as we are connected let's go to readf.com and this is the stock keyboard that we get and uh, let's see how fast it loads and it loaded the mobile uh, version uh, let's switch to the desktop variant again if you notice how quickly it loaded it and it's powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 615 chipset uh, with 2 gigs of RAM. The 615 chipset is pretty fast I would say and even on the Desire 820 which I used earlier had the uh, Snapdragon 615 chipset and it is a fast chipset 
but it was exhibiting some overheating issues on the uh, Desire 820 when I was stressing it. So it will be interesting to see when I test this device, does it overheat or not. As of now, it looks pretty smooth in terms of web browsing also. And this is the multitasking tray that we get. And this is for the back. So let's also quickly now uh, fire up the camera. The rear facing camera is a 13 megapixel shooter. So let's try to invoke that. Let's go to the apps and let me see here we have the camera app. And uh, this is the Mi, uh, sorry, um, Xiaomi uh, Note 4 and no thanks. Let's take a few pictures. And again, if you look at the camera interface, uh, it is actually very stock. And the shutter speed is fast, it's shooting the pictures pretty fast, I would say. Another thing to note is that even with the battery, the handset feels very light to hold. So it's a very light handset. It's not a heavy handset. And uh, let's look at the pictures that we shot just now. So these are the pictures that we shot and uh, they look pretty decent but I will be testing the camera performance of this device uh, later on. But again uh, do remember that uh, this Eureka is just uh, again being sold indirectly by Micromax only. Micromax is the parent company. So I cannot vouch a lot about the end user support because traditionally Micromax devices did not have that great end user support. And in fact, uh, this Eureka uh, guys had contacted me about a month ago and I had replied to them via the email, but they never got back to me. So I don't know if they don't respond to me, what will happen to normal regular customers. In fact, uh, even uh, C4E Tech, Ash from C4E Tech, these guys contacted uh, him and they said that they would be sending out a review unit to him, but he never got it. So I'm just not sure how would be their support if you require it. So that's it for now for this quick unboxing of this Eureka U. If you have any specific questions around this device, do post them in the YouTube comments and I'll try to include them in my review. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.